Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Right guys, well, a subscriber request as usual. Um, this one has actually been requested quite a few times and uh, there are a couple of techniques that I want to show you. Uh, it's related to uh, wicker baskets and, you know, mats and stuff like that, okay? Now, I kind of stayed away from this topic for a while because typically you would try to avoid modeling stuff like this and probably you know use a uh, normal maps or something uh, similar um, but you know it's been uh, asked so many times that I decided just to show you okay so I'll show you a couple of techniques uh, and then you can use that to create whatever model you want whether it's a chair or something else and what I'll do first is I will demonstrate a twisted wicker edge for example, as used on the top of a basket, and then I will show you how to do the mats themselves. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna to go to my top view, and I'm gonna go up to create, and uh, let's go to, uh, where do you go? CV curve tool, all right? Now, I'm gonna start off with the basic shape that I need. So uh, let's do something kind of rectangular. So I'll just uh, click here, click here and the key here is you don't want it to be too precise because it's a natural material okay so we're gonna go for a let's do this and then we'll go down let's say three as well and then we'll go over here over here and back up okay so as you can see, this is not perfectly symmetrical and that's exactly what you want, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're not gonna close the curve because when you use wicker material, you wouldn't have that closed either, okay? So we're gonna look at the opening here and we're gonna leave that open. And with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a polygon cylinder. We're gonna set, uh, go into the attribute editor and set the caps to zero and leave it at a subdivision of 20, that's fine, okay? And then we're gonna right click and go to face, drag select all the faces with the exception of the top, like so, all right? We're then gonna right click and go to object mode. There we go. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move it. Let's go to modify and center pivot. That helps a little bit. So we're gonna hit E to rotate it and hold down J while you do that, so it will snap into sections of 15 degrees so you can get it nice and even and then we're going to hit r and we're going to kind of close that down hit w to zoom in uh, sorry f to zoom in now what i want here is kind of twisted wicker that's going around the top edge so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit Control d to duplicate pull that over so i now have two of these guys make sure they don't touch and then I'm going to select them both and go up to Mesh and Combine. All right. Now, we're going to hit W and make sure we have Modify Center Pivot. There we go. We're going to hit W. We're going to bring that down. Again, F to zoom in. And try to get our curve in the middle there. And down. Now, I'm kind of eyeballing it to see whether these two are not too big. So I'm gonna hit R and scale them down just slightly. And with that said, all right, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna right click and go to face, select these two faces and shift select the edge and go to edit mesh and extrude, okay? Now, it looks a bit off, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the division section and let's add, let's do 200 subdivisions here, okay? And as we do that, you can see it's going around. Now, here's where you want to pay attention because you don't want this to be too high poly, right? So let's bring this down to, let's say, 100. And now what I want is for this to be twisted. So you can't do that here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go into the attribute editor and I'm gonna look and see where that twist option is and it's under poly extrude curve attributes okay so i'm going to start to tweak that 
and this will be a pretty high number so let's try 2000 all right now as you can see you're going to get a twist that's starting to uh you know appear i want to have the value a bit higher so let's do 5000 now when i hit 5000 you see that it all looks choppy and so forth now what i'll do to demonstrate how this would work out okay is let's maybe do three uh four okay so at four it's a bit chunky okay so we're going to right click we're going to go to object mode and what we're going to do is we're going to go up to mesh and smooth all right sorry about that guys uh, my phone obviously um okay so this would for example be the top twisted edge for a wicker basket now just to clean things up we're going to select it we're going to go to edit delete by type history so now we can hit w move that up and select that curve and hit delete to get rid of it and if you have a basket that's in this shape what you could do is select this hit Control d to duplicate pull that down and then hit r hang on modify center pivot first hit r and kind of bring that in okay so if you were to put in verticals here and weave the sections around you would have the basis for your basket okay so these are a couple of things you can do for the top you can do a similar thing for a handle if you like by creating a curve that would flow uh, up to the right and back down and then use the same technique and next what i'm going to show you is a simple way to create um, the side or let's say you want a woven uh, mat or wall okay so for that we'll take a polygon cylinder again we're going to hit w we're going to bring that out let's set uh, caps to zero once again okay i'm going to hit e to rotate it hold down j to snap it to 90 degrees and let's hit r and start to pull that out and then scale the whole thing down to make it nice and thin okay so we got one of those we're going to hit Control d to duplicate it w to move it over let's do that and then hold down shift and hit d to repeat that and repeat it again okay so we've got these four sections now what we're going to do is we're going to create a mat for this so we're going to go back up to create curve tool and cv curve tool we're going to look at it from uh, let's see from this view i have to zoom in here's where it's at and we're just going to start to click and create a curve that will flow around Something like that okay now it doesn't look really smooth so I'm gonna right click and go to control vertex and I'm just gonna try to manipulate a couple of these guys but on all you get the idea okay so we got that and what we can do is we're gonna hit enter so this guy is good and now we can create a new one or we can just simply flip that over okay so we're going to go to modify center pivot control d to duplicate pull that over hit e to rotate that over and hold down j once again while you do that to get to 90 degrees 180 sorry so now you can see that we have these two going on all right now from there what we're going to do is take one of these hit w and kind of move that in and then we're going to create a new cylinder hit w to move that out have to zoom in let's set our caps to zero and once again we're going to right click at a face take all the faces out with the exception of this top here we're going to right click and go to object mode e to rotate 
hold down J to snap. And in this case, we need to be careful that we're not exactly at 90 degrees for the simple reason that our curve doesn't start level, okay? So let's uh, go to modify and center pivot. Let's bring that down. W to move in. Let's do that here. F to zoom in. Okay, so we're going to bring that in close to our curve. And then we're going to kind of eyeball the, um, the angle. So I'm going to hit E to rotate. And I kind of guess that looks all right. Okay. And we're going to need one of those for the other curve as well. So we're going to take that, hit Control D to duplicate, and W to move over. And we'll deal with that guy in a sec. Okay. So we're going to right click and go to face select that face, shift select that curve, edit mesh and extrude. We're going to increase the number of divisions because right now it's straight out. So as we start to drag, you can see that it's starting to curve. So let's try 50. Okay. Now you can see that it's cutting into the vertical elements little bit so you probably want to tweak that but all in all it's not going to be really visible so uh, yeah that's how you do that you can go to object mode and hit three to smooth it if you like but you'll have to deal with the ends here and then we'll do the same with the other one I'll just hit one to go back there we go so we're gonna take that select face select this guy edit mesh extrude let's do 50 subdivisions there we go and as you can see i didn't do that angle thing here so let's just kind of fix that a little bit all right so we got these two we're going to right click at object mode object mode come on I have to go back a few steps, guys. I've got this black section going on there, and I don't want that, so I'm going to redo that angle. Object mood. Let's kind of tilt it more in that direction. Right click face, just like that. Edit mesh, extrude, 50 subdivisions. All right. Okay, so we got that. We're going to right click, go to object mode. It is quite thick, so you can kind of tweak that if and when you like. You can see as I move it over that it shows the original curve. So I'm going to select both of these, go to edit, delete by type history, which will allow me to move them over. So I can now take these two curves and delete them. And now to create my mat, I'll just take these two, move them over to the start, hit Control D to duplicate, pull that over, and just have a look from the top view on the spacing. I guess that looks all right. And then hit Shift D until you're at the other end, okay? So that will give you this. So we're going to right click at the object mode. I'm going to go to uh, mesh and uh, combine. Modify center pivot. So we can rotate that. And I warned you that this would create something that is pretty high poly. Now you got a couple of options here. Um, when I hit W, you can see that you could use that as a wicker wall. You could use that for the siding of your basket. Uh, you could rotate it like so. And in all scenarios, this will give you a few techniques that will allow you to create wicker objects, right? Now, I'm just going to um, quickly jump into Keyshot and give this some texture, but I'm not going to uh, bore you guys with that. You'll just see that on the thumbnail for the video. Uh, but that said, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. If you've got any questions, let me know. And that said, see you guys next time. Bye.